Gaudium Leviosa, maybe? Wingardium Leviosa. As I was saying, it is very easy to get distracted here. I know I was distracted. For... Well... All but a moment. But to utterly... Disappear. Well, that is quite the trick. Where did... I guess I'll wait here for a little bit. Very peculiar. Ah, oh, you took your sweet time. Not that I'm one to uh, speak to timeliness or punctuality and not being distracted. But come on, it's rather rude. Anyways, you wanted to talk. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. Right. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. That's a way to put it. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, um, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I had a lot of help I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch yes. what happens when that light changes from day to night. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess we're just standing here until... Turn tonight. Wonderful. Now, if you wouldn't mind humouring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Go on, take the moon. Um, I'm not going to get into trouble for being out after hours, am I? Not that it seems like anyone in this school cares. Odd little contraptions, but aren't they? The librarian. It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Yes, so I've noticed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. Okay. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, really? that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. Uh, what? A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing okay. the statues. Okay. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Ogsmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. The painting's rather annoying. Second, fire, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear yes. of them unwarranted. He's quite annoyed. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. Fair. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Very well. 
on the condition that I don't get into trouble for being out of my dorm after hours. The faculty tower. I'm not sure I should be going in there. Oh, you needn't worry. Uh, you'll be perfectly fine if you simply mind you're not seen. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Yes. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sent you a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Uh, well, I suppose I could have finally learned the unlocking charm. Quite handy. And there. Hello, Hamora. Right. Righto, let's get ourselves situated. Disillusionment. Where is. No. No. That's a Lohamora. Perhaps. Oh, I see. Alohomora. Oh. Move the sparks and rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated to release the lock. Okay, move the sparks and rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated to release the lock. Ah. I... I see. I do need to... I think I'm doing something, I don't quite know. Disillusionment charm, so no one claps eyes on you. Yes. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. You could just escort me, give me permission, that sort of thing. I have a few questions about the demiguy statues. Ooh, just hearing the name sends chills down my spine. Oh, very well, if you must. How precisely do I remove them? It's so just taking the stone. How do I remove the demiguy statues? They each hold a moon that can only be extracted at night. Once removed, the statues simply vanish. That's it. And who do you suspect planted the statues? Do you know who is behind the demiguy statues? No, uh, but I suspect the motive is jealousy. 
Mm. People have always been jealous of my skills, popularity, and uh, dashing good looks. Mm. No one is above suspicion. Right. I'll be off. I have nothing more to ask. Come and see me once you've found the two moons. Yes, I shall. Yes, I know. You are annoyed. I'm annoyed too. I could be in bed right now. Or doing pretty much anything else. Oh. Revelio. The wizard by Rufio who got a buffalo on his chest. Sad. Okay. Hello, Hamora. This is maybe Professor Garlic's office. All the green. And all the not. Well, uncertain. Oh, oh um, dear Mirabel, my dear dot been asking after you. Perhaps I can convince her to stop in for a butterbeer or two if you were to join us? It's been far too long. When you do manage to come by, I wonder if you'd be able to part with a few of your plants. The more fragrant ones? Ever since the troll attack, customers have been complaining about the smell of, believe it or not, old socks. Nothing I've tried seems to cover the stench. Hope to see you soon, with or without the plants, your friend, Serona. Well, my... Oh. Little badger. My inclination would be accurate, as it seems. Revelio. Oh, a Dedalian key chest. Perfect. Professor Fig... I am in receipt of your most recent owl. Apologies for the delay in my response. I am still receiving a good deal of correspondence regarding the introduction of the not-so-recent stooging penalty in Quidditch, which, in my humble opinion, has brought the game into the modern age. Astonishing, frankly, how many spectators want nothing less than seeing Quidditch keepers flattened entirely. As to the topic of your recent letter, we at the Ministry assure you that any and all potential threats to wizard kind are taken quite seriously. I have made note of your concerns, and inasmuch as time allows, the Department of Magical Law Enforcement will ensure that the matter is looked into, schedule permitting. We value the opinions of esteemed wizards such as yourself, and you may rest assured we have matters well in hand. Should you wish, I can have my secretary secure seats for yourself and a guest in this year's Quidditch final. I thank you. I think you would be delighted to see the results of a well-run and efficient government. Warmest regards, fairest Spaven. Spaven. Uncertain. Minister for Magic. Very interesting. Level 2. Well, that is above my skill. I do want to find that key, though. Revenue. Oh, uh, there's a few people. And I see the key. Perfect. Reminder to staff, the Hogwarts house elves do an exceptional job of, of keeping the castle in order. They are seldom unprepared for any number of items that they might encounter each day. However, 
Only the other day, an unexpected stash of wizarding crackers went off from behind a cushion. The cacophony was most untoward, engulfing one poor elf in blue smoke, and giving those of us nearby an abominable ringing in our ears for the rest of the day. I expect the culprit was Peeves. Keep an eye out and be careful. Matilda Weasley, Deputy Head Mistress. Revelio. Right. Come on, Key. Yes. Oh, I thought you were going upstairs. I was going to be quite irritated with you. Hopefully the ghost doesn't... Well, give me away. Brilliant. Perfect. Up we go. Revenue. Apparently, I need to go up still. That was risky, but I suppose worth it. Revelio. Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Oh, maybe I should go back down. Between Arcanite and Asphodel. Yes, well, it's still early. What? I'm not going to touch that. Can't get that lock. I don't like to do. Hello, Homora. Um, what a bizarre office, my darling. Abraham, you'd be overjoyed to know that the local children have taken to playing gobstones in the street just outside of your study window. They're quite charming, I must say. I noticed the youngest, so without her own set of gobstones, so I lent her one of yours. I knew you wouldn't mind. I do hope things are going well at the castle. I'm relieved that you arrived safely. Dreadfully s dreadful story about that gentleman from the ministry. Was he really traveling with Eleazar? And a student. Simply dreadful. Do write when you have a moment. I'm most eager to hear stories of this year's Summoner's Court participants. Your students so adore you, my dear. With love, M. Ah. This is... Revenue. <sighs> oh. Interesting. Charms, Professor. And I, for the life of me, cannot think of his name in any case. It would appear I must ascend to get to these bloody statues. Be careful. Is that a gilded tortoise shell? My goodness, it is. Okay, we have a handful of people up. Must be the prefect's bathroom. Alohomora. Right, 
Let's be careful. Oop, oop. There. Oh, this is rather extravagant. Revelio. Oh. Goodness. Let's be anyway, I'm not afraid of a goblin rebellion. Quite I'm careful. I'm a prefect too, you twit. That's it. Fifty health points. Revelio. Prefix bathroom. The prefix bathroom features a swimming pool-sized bathtub. It can be filled with enchanted soap and colourful bubbles, as well as a beautiful painted mural depicting a mermaid. Right. And they won't mind. Hello, Hamora. That was less than exciting. The clock tower gears. Revelio. I spy the key. Ah, blasted. How can I move him? Boris the Bewildered. This statue of a lost-looking wizard, known as Boris the Bewildered, has perplexed students for ages. Is he coming or going? Is he at the beginning of a journey or the end? Perhaps we shall never know. Right. Perfect. Go do your duties while I... Capture a key. Yes, I generally know where you're going. Revelio. Ow, oh, you jerk. Yes, I'm stuck over here for the time being. Oh. Um, no, I have a feeling that I will require more pocket management this is rather precarious being in this clock tower I do feel that I ought not to be here well I ought not to be in the teachers for the fac the faculty area to begin with apparently they don't want me going too far away that way either Go up. <sighs> You're in an even worse position. Oh, he's coming my way. Right. You are going to come this way or not? There's a bunch of people there. I guess we are going this way. Can I get 
expect him to come this way. No. Blasted. Maybe if I'm just quiet? Oh, that works too. Yes! And now, upstairs we go. Ooh, good part of spot. Revelium. Majestic unicorn fountain gives an air of serenity and calm to the hospital wing. That was well, rather daft. Revelio. Ah, uh, it's nothing. Go about your business. I was finally going to learn the Quidditch rules. It's a majestic sport. Encompasses the whole of the human condition. Tending uh, healer, no snowy. Well, all of the teamwork and oh. flying about and the golden snitch. Patient was Rather injured doing Quidditch. Life, isn't it? Though, in oh, my professional I suppose opinion, I should pay closer attention in the next match. Hard to count as an injury. One. In fact, if I anyone was injured, it was me, as I do not believe I've ever rolled my eyes quite so hard in my life. Wow, he's rather rude. Oh, I could have waited, I suppose. Revelio. Oh. Now, the real trick getting out of here. I suppose it's probably easy it's just to go right back down the way I came. Prefect. Revelio. There they are. So I say, let's keep an eye out for the professors. They are likely going back to their office or dormitories. Oh. Dual encrusted tortoise shell. Many assume this to be the shell of a fire crab native to Fiji. However, those in the know swear it's a bejeweled tortoise shell created by a mad wizard near Versailles. When his chateau was overrun by nifflers, the dazzling shell was carried off to be discovered years later by a Hogwarts professor on holiday in the Ardennes. Intriguing. You are going to be problematic, aren't you? No. How? No? Yes, go and look. You are your fool. Well, I guess that's revenue. Progress getting out of my way. Oh. 
You owe me quite a bit. You are irritating. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the boggart in Oxmead, does it? No, no, does not. I am determined with your help to discover the identity of my tormentor. Yes, I'll be happy to help when I can. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Very good. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Yes. How many statues do you suspect there are being? How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have Wonderful. your work cut out for you. If you were to ever unravel their meaning. And you mentioned a reward. What would that look like? You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Oh. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. So I've noticed. I will keep my eyes peeled for any more of these statues. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Yes. I... Seemingly have developed somewhat of a reputation as a problem solver for both big problems and rather minor ones. This one is as of yet to be classified. <laughs> 